Hey there guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kayla. And if you are new here, I do hope that you subscribe and stick around for all the fun stuff that is going to be going down on this channel. In today's video, I want to talk to you guys about my two month surgery update. I, if you haven't been following along, two months ago on December 12th, I got a tummy tuck. I lost about 120 pounds. Um, and had two kids in between all of this. So my like whole midsection was absolutely nothing but loose skin. A lot of, I have a lot of loose skin in my body so I decided to get a tummy tuck to get rid of that loose skin problem that I was having and this is my two month update. I did update like the first four weeks um, and I'm only doing monthly now because I don't really feel like at this point much changes from week to week. If you want to go back and watch those videos, I will link that playlist in the description below. So in this video, I just, I kind of want to update you guys on where I am as far as like, um, physically and mentally and where my weight is because my weight has changed a lot since the day of surgery. I also want to talk about some regrets, maybe some things that I would do a little bit differently. Um, and things like that in this video. So it's not going to just be strictly an update about where I am. Um, it's just going to be like a total update overall. And of course, as always, I will show you guys the scar at the end of this video. But for right now, um, the biggest change I think I've noticed so far is my weight. As my swelling goes down, I am still swollen. Um, the first six months, they call it swell hell, and that is a real thing. Um, it hasn't gone away yet, but I have noticed it's gotten less and less over time. I have started developing some like ab definition, which is really nice. Hopefully by the end of the six months, I'll have a six pack. Um, not really, I probably won't, but I do have like the top two now, so that's really nice. I haven't had that in a long time. Um, and I'm down 20 pounds as of now from the day of surgery. So my day of surgery, I was about 168 pounds and now I weigh about 148 pounds. So literally I haven't been like um, dieting. I haven't really been exercising just because um, I'm so busy and my husband's away for training. He has been for like the last month now. So I'm really, really busy with the kids. And I just have not had the time to do any of that right now. Um, and when I do like go for a long walk or anything because I do take my kids on walks I do notice that I swell up a lot so I'm just trying to listen to my body right now and don't do anything out of my comfort zone um as directed by my doctor he did clear me to work out but I'm still not like I'm not at that point I think yet where I can do anything too crazy because I am still swelling a lot um, whenever I do I can stand up straight now, which is really nice and I can lay it completely flat if I wanted to Sleep on my stomach now. I probably could it's still like a little bit uncomfortable Laying on my stomach, but if I'm laying on my back, I'm fine to lay like completely flat But if, like flipping over my stomach. It's still a little um, a little bit weird. So uh, That's another thing Something I have noticed I am starting to get more stretch marks now that my stomach or my skin is starting to like loosen up a little bit, just probably from stretching. I already had really bad stretch marks going all the way up my front um, from like my legs to like right under my boobs. I already had really bad stretch marks there from getting pregnant and um, losing the weight. So I'm already covered in stretch marks. So that's not something that really bothers me, but it is something that can come with this surgery so if it's something that you're considering if you already have really bad stretch marks there is a chance that you will probably get more it's not a big concern for me personally i don't really care i think that the biggest thing i just wanted to do was get rid of that weight off of me and just feel comfortable in my own skin again and that's pretty much where i feel now so far honestly it's it's made a big difference in like the way that i the way that I feel physically and mentally, it's made things a lot easier. It's made, um, you know, putting on clothes a lot easier. It's just helped my like self-esteem so, so much. I do not regret the surgery whatsoever. And I say if you're on the fence about it and like you're really, really down and you, you really want to do it, do it. I think you should do it. I don't regret it whatsoever. I would do it over again if I had to. Um, with all of the things that come with it, I would I would 100% do it again. 
um, without a doubt, like not even a question. I think I would have gotten it done sooner. Um, but just where I am now, it's like, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's just the best feeling. It's like one of the best feelings ever. I feel like a completely new person and honestly, it's just been amazing. Like the whole healing process, it's very long and it does take a lot of patience and it is kind of like an emotional roller coaster. Um, you know, just going from one drastic change to another and it's, it's very different. I, I do kind of feel like I got transplanted into a new body. I'm still getting used to my new body. Like I look in the mirror and I'm just like, I cannot believe that's actually me. Like I can't believe it. I went through all of my clothes. Um, it was a few weeks ago, probably, probably around the one month mark, just after the one month mark, I went through all of my clothes. I tried on everything in my dresser, my closet, and I had to get rid of most of my clothes because they already were way too big. Um, just from like the skin around my stomach, I always had to buy clothes to fit the loose skin around my stomach, which made me look a lot bigger than it actually was because it there wasn't fat, it was just skin. And it's just, it was very thick and it was just not, not fun to have and not a good look either. So now I've dropped about like two or three sizes and I've dropped 20 pounds and I think it's just from swelling going down because I have noticed, um, you know, the more the swelling goes down, the more like definition I'm starting to see and the more weight that comes off. So that's kind of a big thing. As far as there are some things I think I would have done differently, um, just getting up to this point, I think that uh, as far as being a little bit more prepared, I probably would have gotten some sort of recliner. Like if I had more time to prep for this, I think I would say get a recliner, either rent one or buy one or something. But I honestly think during that first couple of weeks, it would have helped a tremendous amount more. I feel like I would have been in less pain, especially my back um, from trying to sleep sitting up on my couch. If I was in a recliner, I feel like that would have kind of alleviated some of the pain because the first like two to three weeks, was honestly so difficult to get through. Like, after you get through it, you're like, okay, that wasn't that bad. But while you're going through it, you're like, is this ever gonna end? Like, what am I gonna do? Am I gonna feel like this forever? Um, you won't, you'll get through it and it'll be fine. And in the end, you'll be feeling so good. I'm only two months out right now, so I think this six month mark will be kind of like the determining factor. Um, my scar is healing up very nicely. I'm very happy with it. It is still red, but like I said, it's, I'm only two months out, so I'm not worried about the color of it. It will eventually fade. Um, and I have been using that bio oil on it that I told you guys about before in one of my previous videos. That seems to be working well so far, but I think over time, um, I think time is really what's gonna kind of like make the color go down, but it's not raised up or anything. It's not stretched out. It's not lumpy. Like my scar is pretty smooth and it's pretty thin and it's like, it's really low down. So if I put on like a bikini or underwear or anything, you literally can't see it at all. Like you can't tell unless you look at my belly button because I did have to get a new belly button and there's a scar there too from that. So this whole video isn't going to be too long. I do have another video that I'm going to be planning soon. Just talking about all of the things that kind of come with getting a tummy tuck or just like tummy tuck surgery in general um and that video will be coming out in a few weeks so stick around for that make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you know when that video comes out but let's go ahead and look at the scar because on there's really not too much more to update like i said not much changes really anymore from the day to day it's more or less just you notice that your swelling is starting to go away a little bit and you start noticing that you can do a little bit more and you can stand up a little straighter and you can sleep on your back and all that kind of stuff is very nice. But let me go ahead and show you guys the scar because I know you like seeing that. So that is all that I have for you in today's video, you guys. I do hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you have been considering getting this surgery for a long time, or if you're somebody 
that has been on the fence, I can 150% say it is so worth it. It was so worth it for me. I would do it over and over again if I had to. Um, you guys have seen my results. You've seen everything I've been through since the day before surgery. You've seen everything I've gone through since day one. And I can tell you, I, oh my God, I can say there is nothing, nothing on this earth, honestly, that compares to the feeling um, that you have whenever you finally get rid of that burden off your shoulders or off your chest or literally off your body just in general. It's a really good feeling. And if you have the right doctor, it's the best. Like it really honestly is the best. I don't regret the decision and I will tell the whole world that every day. I don't care if anybody knows. Um, but that's all that I have for you in this video today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you subscribe. But until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.